The University of Toledo's dining halls slapped with multiple serious health code violations. Michael Sandlin talked to students on campus today. And Michael, these health code violations are a few months old. So why are the students sounding off about it now? Well, Mel, the violations are pretty serious. Health inspectors say that they saw raw meat being stored at dangerous temperatures, live cockroaches, and even signs of rodents. Students I talked to say that the university is not being open and upfront about the situation. Lauren Henry, a sophomore at UT, says she was blindsided Tuesday when her mom texted her that the school's dining halls had received multiple serious health code violations from the Lucas County Health Department. I take so much pride in going to this university. I'm so happy to go here, but it's just really disappointing to hear. The health department's reports, stretching back from October of 2021 to February of this year, showed dozens of critical and non-critical violations at various on-campus eateries including the presence of live insects, rodents, and other pests, and raw hamburger patties sitting in the food prep sink at dangerous temperatures. A representative from the university wrote in a statement that the issues were taken care of, quote, We were able to confirm that there were no concerns in our food production or food serving areas. The actions directed by the health department allowed us to quickly resolve the issue in the other areas of our dining operations. However, the health department's most recent follow-up with the Student Union Dining Hall on February 9th says that they again told school employees to address a continuous cockroach infestation. Again, the university says the violations are taken care of. Henry says the most shocking part of this for her is that the school knew about these ongoing issues for months, but students just found out this week when people stumbled on the public health records. This has been a long-term issue, but it had never been addressed to us as students, the students who live on campus and the students who have meal plans. We had no idea until a couple of days ago, so that communication wasn't there. Students voiced their frustrations on social media about the violations, as currently a meal plan for this coming fall semester is $2,269. And Henry says meal plans are the only option for many students. It kind of makes you not trust the university. Um, we're living in a world right now where so many things are changing so fast, and the one thing you want to trust is your food. She says that she'll continue eating on campus because she has to, but she hopes that by bringing attention to the issue, the university will eventually make sure that they don't have any more violations. Reporting in West Toledo tonight, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.